what was what's been the craziest experience is it probably a heart attack mm. no i feel it maybe it was my first spiritual awakening i don't know <laughs> but when i had um my spinal surgery i was in intensive care for a while yeah and i couldn't move like because the metal had to sit as well so i just remember laying back and i was on a female only ward because so, i was an adolescent but um i remember waking up and having this full-blown conversation with this little caribbean man and <laughs> he touched my toe and i was wiggling it i was moving it i was like oh okay and he kept saying you're all right baby girl you're all right and I like remembered his face and everything. So my mum come back and I was like, can you get the man back? He really yeah. made me feel better. Can you get him back, please? She's like, There's, there was no man. I was like, there was a man. 100% there was a man here. Anyways, she was like, no. Years go by, bearing in mind, I've never seen my granddad. He passed away young. He came over on the wind rush and a lot of stuff happened. Um, so he died before I was born. My dad showed me a picture and I was like, that's the man. Wow. That was the man at the bottom of my bed. It was him. It was my granddad. Wow. So my little 12 year old self saw a spirit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of mad. It sounds quite comforting. It was quiet, like, yeah. yeah, it just made me feel you're going to be okay. Because just imagine you can't, all you can do is blink. You can wow. barely talk. You can't move your neck. You can't move your fingers. You just can't move like weeks like that um, and obviously they had me on morphine they had me on everything but that was like the one moment in that journey where I thought oh I'm gonna be okay I felt my toe but I didn't feel my toe <laughs> it was all in my yeah but yeah that was that was a nice comforting experience but very strange yeah I can imagine yeah <laughs> but it sounds it does sound nice yeah yeah it sounds quite comforting yeah would, would you say you're quite spiritual religious or do you feel connected to anything um mm. Yeah, I mean, I do, I do see spirits, I do see signs. I have weird, it's weird, it's quite bad, but it's weird. Mm. I have dreams and I, they are premonitions. They are. And it's dark, it's proper dark because I'll know, I get when something bad's going to happen. It comes in my dream. Um, like my aunt, I was very close to her, she was dying. And um, so I got ill, my aunt got ill, and my grandma got ill, all in the same year. Wow. Um, but fast forward 10 years, my grandma's passed, and my aunt is losing her battle with cancer. But um, she, she was in a hospice, and it was December time, and I think it was on like the 5th of December. I had this dream, night for December, night for December at 9pm. That's all that kept coming into my head. So I woke up wow. straight away thinking, oh my God, she's like, she's gone. She wasn't, she was still here, thankfully. I called my mum, I called my best friend and I was like, Auntie Jane's going to pass on the 9th of December at 9pm. Wow. She passed away on the 9th of December at 9pm. And you got the dream on the 5th? Yeah. So it's four days later? Yeah. Wow. And I, I felt like such a, it was like a burden, but not. Because I'm mm. thinking, did I cause that? Did I actually, did my dream, but I know it, I didn't, but it was just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what, what do you think? Do you believe in like a higher being or just, yeah. you just feel connected to, to something? Feel there's a higher being. Yeah. Um, don't know what. Everybody has their own beliefs, but there is something 